Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wynn, and this is my Module 1 project where I will be comparing different shared themes between different works of literature. So let's get started. So um, these are the works of literature that I chose um, to read. And the first one is my novel, Brave New World. I chose to read the short story, The Company Man, and the two poems I chose were Acquainted with the Night and The World is Too Much with Us. So the first shared theme we're going to explore is the laws of individuality, and a shared thematic statement between these two works of literature is, it is better to be your true self than what someone pushes on you. And this is shared between Brave New World and The Company Man. So in Brave New World, the outcast is Bernard, a member of a dystopian society. In this society, everyone is created the same, and individuality is considered a threat to a perfect world. Bernard is an outcast in many ways. He is first much smaller and weaker physically than everyone around him, which causes him much anxiety and struggle. He, is, he also believes in individuality and refuses to take place in many activities other citizens take part in, like having sex immediately without knowing the person. By instantly having sex, your individual character does not matter, but waiting means that there is someone you that, that, that they are someone that you would like to get to know better. So the quote I chose is, "I'd rather be myself," he said, "myself and nasty, not someone else, however jolly." And in this quote above, Bernard is saying to Lenina that after she pressures him to eat a Soma Sunday, um, he is saying this to Lenina after she pressures him to eat a Soma Sunday so that he can have more fun. Soma is a drug that everyone in the dystopian society eats to feel better and calm down. He refuses to participate in many activities involving activities like this because he does not want to lose his own identity to mind altering substances. He emphasizes Soma is used to put people in a state of hypnosis and causes them to all be alike. The society wants to suppress individuality and Bernard Benit believes in his own freedom, which continues to make him an outcast in the society. And this is also shared in The Company Man. And in The Company Man, the outcast in the short story is Phil, the overworked vice president of a company. Everyone can and should find a balance between their work and personal lives, but Phil could not and died from overworking and exhaustion. This made him an outcast. And the... Um, text, my textual evidence that I chose was um, the quote listed above, and this above quote shows that Phil has lost his individuality to work. He has no longer, um, he no longer has any extracurricular activities, and all, as all he does is work. He eats the same thing at his desk every day while working, and he is overweight because of work. Everything he does is because of work, and he has completely lost his individual personality and sense of self. He is his job. So another shared theme between two works of literature is technology. And a thematic statement that is shown in both these works is, Technology and modernization progress as society, but too much can cause harm. And this is shown in The World is Too Much Without Us and also Brave New World. So in Brave New World, um, I chose this textual evidence to prove that um, technology and modernization can progress to society, but too much can cause harm. So in the above quote, Mustafa says to John when he asks why there is no God in the society. Everyone in the society was built in a test tube in a lab, and everyone has a predetermined caste that decides what you will wear and how you will live. There is no room for God, because God cannot compare with technology and progress. It is unnecessary to worship someone, because technology has made this so-called society perfect. But in reality, technology and progress has imprisoned all of the citizens in Brave New World. And this... Um, the theme of technology is also shown in The World is Too Much Without Us. So, um, the outcast in the poem, The World is Too Much Without Us, is the author, William Wordsworth. Everyone believes that technology and things that modernize the world help progress society and make the world a better place. Um, this is in um, the world that Wordsworth is writing from, his perspective. But Wordsworth is claiming... 
Um, Wordsworth is claiming that progress is the downfall to society, and we would make we would be better in a more simple time. Therefore, making him an outcast. And um, the above quote shows that the author believes that we do not care about nature or the natural things in the world. All we care about is progress, and in a society filled with materialism, we have given our hearts away to things in progress. We have let modern technology take over our world. So, technology is shown in both these works of literature as something that can progress the society, but also do much harm. And the last shared theme is isolation, and a thematic statement that is shown in both works of literature I chose is, isolation will cause a life filled with sadness. And this can be shown in Acquainted with the Knight and the Company Man. So, the outcast in the poem Acquainted with the Knight is the unknown man walking at night. He claims to be acquainted with the knight, but he does not seem to have any friends or enjoy talking to people, which makes him an outcast. And the above quotes I chose help show that the unknown man has isolated himself from society. He purposely does not look at the watchman, showing the reader that he does not want to talk to people. Maybe he has been shunned or pushed out of society and is purposely isolated. In the second quote, he says that when he hears a cry in the street, it would not be directed at him. This shows that he has no friends and does not talk to anyone in the town. He has isolated himself, causing his life to be miserable. And the theme of isolation is also shown in The Company Man. Um, in these two quotes that I chose, uh, Phil has isolated himself from his family because of his work. His oldest son does not even know anything about him and has to go ask the neighbors about his father. His daughter does not have anything to talk to her father about, showing that they have no relationship. Phil has isolated himself from everyone in life because of work and it has made his life miserable. He died early from overworking himself and probably cutting all the people that loved him out of his life. So in, in both these works of literature, there's a shared theme that isolating yourself will cause your life to be miserable. So you need to surround yourself with the people that you love. And this is the end of my Module 1 project. Thank you for coming in and listening.